覚悟はいいわね。What's up guys, it's Mac back with another unboxing and review. Today we have the Pulp Culture Shock um, Street Fighter Alpha Chun-Li exclusive. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and see what she's looking like. We got the art box out of the shipper. Um, this is the standard version of the statue uh, with her normal uh, outfit on. Looks like the uh, box comes, you know, displaying her that way, even though this box is the, or what's included in this box is the alpha statue, which is this one down here. And then you have the battle dress, and then once again, uh, the standard version. A little profile pick on the side. Back to the front, so go ahead and uh, get this thing opened up and continue on with this. Yeah, it looks like uh, PCS is going all XM on us. They have uh, included these straps for safekeeping of the statue during shipping. I kind of like it. It's labeled, uh, of course, top on the uh, top part of the box, and then as in standard fashion, you get the uh, the protective gloves, and then you also have the Alpha Exclusive Certificate of Authenticity. So, let's go in and unstrap these. It's kind of tight. Alright, so, wow, look at here. So, looks like uh, PCS is taking some cues from uh, Prime One Studios. We have our, like, little red silky protectant here that's covering everything we got uh, the chung Lee head sculpt kind of pee peeking out at us right here body and some, some it's probably the little arm gauntlets here let's go ahead and pull this uh, head sculpt out Looking pretty good all right, so I'm gonna pull everything out, lay it out on the table so you guys can see what uh, comes in the package. Pull the base out real quick, forgot to do that. Let's see that real quick. Got everything laid out. You have the little base here. Pretty nice. So I think this is the front. Yeah, that's the front. So you have uh, keys and a peg. And then uh, you know where the attachments are here on the uh, bottom of the feet. So, so here's the body. She said it's nice and flush. More to the base. Not moving around. Alright, the next we'll attach the little gauntlets. So they're not numbered, I think they're both the same. So I want to, because if you try to slide this on like this, it gets caught, so you want to be careful to kind of move it. A little bit and then it just kind of slides up like that and then you have the little hand so that goes like so and you just bring that down like that and that's pretty cool because it hides the seam uh, of the hand and then the other one so just like kind of the other way, you kind of just place it in there, and then you 
got her uh, left hand. Just like that. Lastly, you have the head sculpt. And there you go, she's completely assembled. Looking pretty good. All right, so I'll switch on to Checking this piece over, giving you guys a review next up. over uh, this piece um, I have to say that I was kind of not knowing how I was gonna feel about this piece with everything going on with uh, pulp culture shock here as of late but you know I think this piece came out very well um, I dig it let me know what you guys think uh, in the section in the comment section below um, and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get on with the base we have uh, that she's standing on here uh, we have like this little kind of rough area down here where it looks like it's been chipped off. And you have the red painted smooth area that's uh, done nicely. There's not um, any paint bleed that I can see coming through here. Um, and you have like this little trend that's gold that matches the dragon. The dragon has a little bit more of a shimmer to it. It looks like somebody took their time painting this. Like I said, there's not uh, too much paint bleed on that. So it looks, it looks nice. Um, like I said, this base is a... Uh, bridge so you could imagine water coming through here and You have like this little texturing for what she's standing on and then you have the back dragon uh, Which is done well and then uh, Moving up to uh, her shoes, which is like one of the main reasons why I picked this uh, statue up when I play the game uh, this uh, version of her uh, I like because it reminds me a lot of Bruce Lee and his outfit kind of a reverse uh, with blue and uh, yellow, his was the black, um, the yellow and black stripes. So this is uh, kind of cool to me. So that's like why I picked this up. So, but the shoes are like one of my favorite peep parts of this piece. You know, you can see the little texturing going throughout uh, the shoe. The only thing I did notice is that, you know, on most pieces I'm used to, they get down to the detail and they actually have detail actually on the bottom of the shoe. This one is just all, you know, just flat. So there's no details down there. It'd be nice if they did that, but you know, it is what it is. You're not really gonna see it. Um, paint all on the shoes is nice. You know, she's got her foot arched up here. Um, moving up to the uh, the costume itself, you know, that's, uh, you know, the wrinkles and whatnot that are going throughout it. You can't really see the sculpt, but you can definitely tell that, you know, they've got the musculature uh, down on the, uh, uh, on the legs here. All right, so moving on to the back, you have her calves. But you can see the musculature, the musculature through uh, the outfit there, and then like it's cool because you have the little wrinkly uh, parts of the costume, which you you can move around, but you know make it look more realistic. You can keep it kind of bunched up there. But um, going back up, you have uh, you know her thighs, and then oh my, you have that that back, the cakes. Cakes are done really well. <laughs> um, can't say anything bad about them. Uh, the hips are quite wide. Then you have this kind of strange area here. It looks a little odd just because of, you know, just the, you know, the anatomy of it. But, you know, we know Chung Lee, she's got really, you know, thick thighs and then, you know, her torso is a little bit, you know, weird. Uh, but, uh, you know, on the uh, classic version of the statue, all that is hidden well. Uh, because uh, she's got the you know the belt and then she's got that little guard that goes through so it doesn't look, look bad after you stare at it for a long long, long enough it kind of just flows and if you know the character it's not that big of a deal so but you know it looks good um, I think uh, the um, 
placement of the hand, all that is done very well, kind of accentuates, kind of makes you not, you know, stare too much at that area. Uh, waist up and her arms uh, are detailed very well. You can see she's been working out, you know, Chun Li's the, uh, one of the, I think, the, what, what do they call her? Um, the strongest woman in the, uh, the world, I think, is what her um, okay. alias is. But very nice. Uh, arm detail and then you have her little gauntlets so uh, the gauntlets on this version they aren't spiked like they are on the uh, classic version due to it being a different um, costume um, but they're kind of round rounded off and what I do like about them is too is how they have them placed they hide the seams so you can kind of move them around if you have a seam there and it hides it so I don't think I stated that earlier, but I wanted to, you know, point that out in the review portion. But also the same same way here, um, I'm not going to move that up enough because I don't want to knock the hand off. But um, I think the nails are done well. Her hands look realistic, and uh, the outfit up top looks good with the uh, with her vest. And then her face sculpt is done very very well. Um, the gloss on the lipstick uh, on her lips there looks really good and then they got the little glossy parts in the eyes I'm not 100% sure if that's painted uh, or stickers but that uh, is very nice and then her hair or her bangs are done very very well also so I think that's pretty cool and then if you notice on the other statues the head sculpt is part of the main differences between the three you have these little ties here and then you have a little bit this is all mixed media and you have like a little bit of string here which you, you can cut off here never pull that because then you never know what you could unravel but i'll cut those off and then you know we should be fine so um yeah so um i do have the uh, battle dress on order as well i was going to see which one i like more and uh maybe um so one of them but that may not be, be the case i think i may have to keep these two so uh just depends on how the other one looks so um let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section below all right guys my overall impressions of this piece is that it's done very well um i think pcs may be on a way to a comeback uh i think uh that they've uh they keep hammering out pieces like this i think uh you know more people will be uh, more excited to get their pieces in and uh, you know the stuff that's going on now will be in the past so uh, I'm happy with this um, if you guys are picking this up or picking up any of the other versions of this statue um, I think you guys would be impressed with it um, I think it's you know one that'll stand out in the collection in my collection at least so uh, yeah if you guys are into uh, Street Fighter I also have uh, three different uh, other uh, Street Fighter pieces from Pulp Culture Sock. I'll leave those cool in the video uh, as well. So check those out uh, when you get some time. Um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. As always, I'm going to go ahead and end this out with some pictures, close-ups of uh, you know the statue here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.
覚悟はいいわね覚悟はいいわね。